everyone. Um, I would like to invite you to a little bit of yin yoga. Uh, we are just going to practice one pose together. And uh, yin yoga is one of my favorite styles of yoga. It is meditation. Each pose is a little mini meditation, a little mini mm, staycation or vacation. So I'll invite you to have a seat on the floor, either on a comfortable rug, a blanket, or a yoga mat. Our, our pose today is caterpillar pose, and we'll simply sit with our legs stretched in front of us. We'll bend the, bend the knees a little bit, and then at this moment you'll decide if your feet are comfortable, the distance between your feet could be hip distance apart, could be shoulder distance apart, or you might like to open your legs a little bit wider or actually bring your legs a little bit closer. You'll know right away what feels intuitively perfect. If you have sciatic problems or lower back problems, I would say maybe sit on something to elevate your hips. A folded blanket, a folded shawl, a cushion, a pillow might do the trick. So we'll silence the mind, we'll soften our jaw joints, we are seated on the floor on some sort of a support maybe. Our legs are straight in front of us with a bit of a bend or a lot of bend. It's really up to you and whatever feels most comfortable for, for you at this point. And then we'll slowly, slowly invite the torso to come forward. So at this moment, our, our neck is one line with our spine. We're just gently, gently coming forward. And a time will come that right away you'll feel some sort of a pull, maybe, a, maybe um, a stop or a stickiness, um, a little bit of a kind of a speed bump in the body. So you'll feel this, this place that the body holds back and tightens up a little bit. Stop right there. Stop there and wait. And as you wait, again, your jaw joints will soften, your shoulders will soften, your belly will spread wide, your breath with, will elongate. And you might notice that you might get a little bit more saliva in your mouth. Mm, that's the juiciness of the pose, the invitation of the body to go a little bit deeper. And so slowly, slowly, you'll allow your chest and rib cage to get closer to your thighs or closer to the floor. And then if you're able to, you can maybe hold on to your feet. You can interlace fingers between your toes. You can hold on to your ankles. You can place hands on the floor. Uh, you can wrap your arms around your thighs maybe. And then we'll wait a little bit longer. As you wait a little bit longer, you'll connect to your breathing. And we'll notice the belly ebbing and flowing, the belly kind of pushing against maybe our thighs. If you're, if you're in a deeper forward fold, you might feel that. And your toes don't have to be pointing up to the sky above. You might, you might allow your toes to fall outwards a little bit. That might feel delicious for your hip joints. You might actually allow your toes to get closer together. That might feel yummy for you. But at any moment you notice that the breath is shallow. It's hard to breathe. At any moment saliva stops and you actually notice that mm, you have dry mouth. You've gone a little bit too far. So one of the tips in yin is to find a pose and then coming into that workable edge, kind of that edge, and the edge constantly changes. It's like the present moment. The present moment constantly changes. And then we'll hold for time, for time. And we're not looking for intensity. We're just simply kind of being in this moment. We're offering ourselves body, our mind, our soul, our, our spirit, our breath to this, this present moment, the gift of the present moment. And at this point, you might have come a little bit further. Each exhale in yin might take us a little bit deeper and maybe not physically into a deeper forward fold, but this energetic, emotional, mental depth. Your palms might face up, your palms might face down. So 
you might decide that, okay, you're going to start rounding your spine and dropping your head. And if the head feels at one point that it's quite heavy, you can, of course, place your elbows on your shins, on your knees, on your thighs, and place your, you know, your chin in your hands or your cheeks in your hands. You're stimulating the kidneys and the back body uh, around the lower back either side of our spine. We are placing a bit of stress and this is uh, useful stress, it's good stress. It's a stress we, we have before vacation maybe or before a party just to make sure everything's clean or organized or a stress that makes sure that we have our passport and we know where we're going to stay, which hotel we're going to stay, or these little stresses that actually help us to grow. Yeah, so beneficial stresses here. And there's just this little bit of stress you might feel in your back body, down your spine. Some people feel it between their shoulder blades. Some people kind of back of the diaphragm. Some people feel it right in their lower back area. Some people feel it in their hips, some in their hamstrings, some calf muscles or Achilles tendons. And for everyone, there is this little bit of kind of, little bit of difference here. Again, there should be no pain. There should be no questionable or worry in a pose. If, if you do feel pain or a questionable discomfort, slowly, slowly come out. You might have gone a little bit too deep. You might have to flex your feet or actually soften your feet. You might have to allow the toes to fall outwards or actually inwards. You might like to open your feet a bit wider or bring them closer. We are placing pressure on the back of the heart. So a bit of pressure in the back of the heart, that might feel nice, strengthening the heart muscle. We're placing a bit of pressure in the sexual organs, digestive organs in our forward fold here. And again, stimulating these organs. Welcoming the present moment, softening our eyes, our jaw joints, softening the body. We've gone even a little bit deeper. In yin practice, it's the opposite of yang or yang practices. Yang or yang practices are basically walking, swimming, cycling, hiking, dancing, anything that kind of brings heat to the body, maybe even strengthening and toning the muscles. And yin practices are um, maybe sitting or standing for long hours in the day, again, in a way that, that we're quite aware and cautious of it, or of course coming into practices in, in, a, in a yin yoga practices, deliberately dropping into a pose and allowing time to pass as the body opens up and softens and softens and we're placing a bit of stress in the connective tissue, the ligaments, the tendons, even the fascia. As we get older, our connective tissue gets drier, it gets a little bit more brittle, it gets more plasticky rather than elasticky. So an elastic band, we can stretch it and it comes back to where its original kind of shape and size. A plastic bag, if we can't open that knot, we kind of pull it apart, it won't come back to its original shape and size. So so this is what happens to the connective tissue as we age. And uh, through yin yoga is where we can kind of bring that juiciness back into our fascia, connective tissue, the ligaments and tendons. It's our last three breaths here. And 
so remember how you came into this pose. You came quite softly. You were quite patient with your body, with your breath. We're going to come out. We're even going to come out gentler, softer, slower. Slowly, 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 slowly walking hands back. Gently coming back into a seated position. You might like to bend your legs a little bit more until your feet touch the floor. You might like to place your hands behind you, fingers touching the floor or palms touching the floor. And gently rock your knees from side to side, side to side. In yang poses such as going to the gym or again walking, hiking, swimming, you might be sore 24 hours later or 48 hours later. In yin yoga, we're sore as we're coming out and maybe another 30 or 30 seconds or a minute after a pose. And then the body softens, it opens up, kind of invite new beginnings into the fascia, into our muscles, into the tendons, ligaments, into our joints. I hope you've enjoyed this one little pose with me called caterpillar. If you want to uh, join me in a yin practice, you are more than welcome to join me on Zoom at Starlet Yoga, um, and uh, I will put all the information below. <laughs> Have a lovely day. Namaste.